Welcome to Game of Thrones fans, it's me Mark. I'm Anna. And we are here to bring you another episode of Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. This time it is Season 4, Episode 5, mm -hmm. called First of His Name. What do you think that might be? Any number of people. Any number of people. I mean, there's lots of people in the show that are first of their names. Mm-hmm. We'll probably find out fairly early. Um... Well, let's start with a recap. What you okay. remember from last week or last night? Um. Well. Well. Come I on. found. Bing. Um. <laughs> there was the gray worm and the Sunday scene. I thought that was cute. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Which led. On to them capturing Marine. Marine. And yeah. Crucified. Mm -hmm. A few of the masters. Yeah. We talked about this earlier and I related <laughs> it to Harry Potter Easy. yet again. You're always doing that. And then I was watching Harry Potter videos. <laughs> Twice there was a Game of Thrones reference. Twice. Not even my fault. I was watching Harry Potter. Didn't even mention it. <laughs> it was all stuff. It both of them were Ned things. No spoilers. So yeah. And the, there was a letter, but I couldn't read it. It was too blurry. But it's like a Hogwarts letter. <laughs> well, but it is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Game of Thrones. They're relatable. Yes. Let's see. There are like the three genres that are related. There's the two genres that are related to Harry Potter that, you know, I have I only notice. Game of Thrones and then, you know, Twilight because they have the same they have one of the same characters. Which I won't tell Dad anything about. Because he hasn't read or watched any of the books or movies. And he has oh, no idea what I ever talk about. Right. There was a question on there. When I get to the questions, um, I don't remember who it was. I was wondering if we were considering uh, reacting to anything else once we get this thing all caught up. He's reacting to the Harry Potter movies? Yes. And, uh, yeah, and then you're, and because then I know it's a great story. The there was like eight movies or something Eight like that. movies, mm -hmm. seven books. Okay. So obviously they were doing something right. And I then just once we're done with the movies, them, you're so. going to read the books. Okay. <laughs> Somebody was, uh, D. Potter was also asking uh, if we had read the books. Or if I had read the books. And I have not read the books. We plan on doing it yep. after we do all seven seasons. I call Anna's I call a big reader. First, <laughs> I get to read the first book first. And once I'm done, he's going to read it because I'm the faster reader. Yep. You'll sit down for hours and read, so I don't quite go that quick. Yeah. But yes, I do plan on watching. Um, Reading. So there was a couple questions I wasn't even planning on asking or touching on. Reacting to Harry Potter and reading all the books. Oh, by the way, I did see some video earlier today saying the last book might be out this September. Hmm. Um, the last it's book. not official. There's some book place in New York that's been around for a long time. So they're they, and then they changed the article they'd done. They said something about um, it was going to be released September sixth. The last book? Isn't uh, there, I thought there was going to be like eight books or something. Well, there's because five there's right now, or... and then there's eight. one more to finish out the story. But he also has other books in the works that talk about um, different storylines, like the Rebellion. And oh. So to finish up the story, which what we're uh, watching right now, there's going to be one book. But supposedly that's supposed to be out in September. But like I said, they took the date off soon after that article was posted, as it may be a spoiler for book fans. But anyway, back to what happened... So far, we've talked about Marine and Grey Worm and Masande. Yep, because that was really <laughs> cute. Um, 
I already ship. <laughs> already shipping them. Yep. Um, there was some stuff at the wall. Uh, yep. Where Rob is going Rob. to. Rob. Rob. <laughs> Rob. Um. <laughs> John <laughs> is going to go up above the wall to take care of the people left at Craster's Creep. Keep. I'm losing my voice again. <laughs> More milk. Okay. And. Sam is worried about Gilly because of all the, you know, wildling raids. Um, there was the stuff that happened down in King's Landing. Uh, Brienne and Podrick, her new squire, are going to find Sansa because, you know, yeah. And she has a new sword. Yep, she has the Valyrian sword called Oathkeeper, mm. which was the roll credits of the <laughs> um, episode. episode. Right. Um, Littlefinger has a friend. Yep, Lady Olana, which um, she is the one who poisoned Joffrey. Didn't see that coming, did you? Nope. <laughs> Lady Olana reminded me of my grandma. <laughs> she was that kind of, yeah. She is that type, isn't she? <laughs> yes. She reminded me of my grandma. And then she goes, turns around, and poisons Joffrey. Which I guess is a little bit more fulfilling. Because, you know, she reminds me of my grandma, and I love my grandma. And knowing that she was the one that was behind it. Well, that's cool. I never even thought of it that way. <laughs> um, which she talks about how she got married to um, Marjorie's grandfather and then Marjorie visits Tommen some point in time during the night <laughs> and that what he would I, I assume he's around my age and nowadays this is probably what was going through his head what's happening there's this hot chick in my bedroom and I don't know what's happening <laughs> But he was smiling at the end. Yeah. A funny dumbfound smile, but he was smiling. <laughs> and the end was the White Walker reveal. The White Walker reveal. Mm -hmm. I was so spot on. Yes, you were. How am I these how am I that spot on on things? Well, you pay attention. True. Plus I have imaginative I'm very good at the whole creative. Imagine. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, well, yeah, you're always writing short stories and stuff. One of these days you're going to write a book. You always start writing a book. I always start writing the book, and then <laughs> I have a great ending, but I can never get in the middle. Fill the middle. <laughs> okay, well, want to get into the questions then? That was pretty much the sure. entire episode. Um, work with me on the names. Um, Harundi V. Bakshi. Um, Cersei wants both Tyrion and Sansa dead, and she blames them for Joffrey's death. And Jamie doesn't believe they're guilty. Not only does he sympathize with Tyrion, he also sends Brienne, armed with his Valyrian steel sword, to find Sansa to get her to safety. What effect do you think this will have on Cersei and Jamie's relationship? Oh, it's over. You think it's over? It's definitely over. Yeah, Cersei's not looking happy with Jamie for anything. Okay, and then the follow. Uh, what's your opinion of Jamie now that he appears to be keeping his promise that he made to Catelyn? Even though Catelyn is dead, he still wants to keep Sansa safe. Mm hmm. Which is good. He's moved off your hate list. That was a while ago. But yeah. He's still in the middle somewhere, though, probably. So, is he moving up, though, with some of his recent behavior, maybe? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, and the second one was from Film Malai Habar. Um, Danny said, I will answer injustice with justice. Um, but do you think she's confusing justice with vengeance? Well, do you see a difference there. Well, yeah, there's a very, very, very fine line in between it. And especially in superhero stuff, a lot of people think that their justice is, their just, that their vengeance is actually justice, which happens with a lot of superheroes and villains and anti-heroes, mm -hmm. you know. It happens a lot with a lot of characters. Especially the one that always comes to mind, the superheroes, because you know. Right. Vigilante justice is a really justice. Yeah. Mm. Without a fair trial and all that kind of stuff. Well, all right. Are you ready to watch this episode? Yes. Yes. It is a good one, I promise. Uh, get this down and we'll get her going. Oh, this is first of his name. Really? I hit the wrong button. Brilliant job. I was in a hurry. I hit the red button instead of this button. Great job. <laughs> Just brilliant. All right. <laughs> Commentary time. Yellow. Uh, no. I still don't understand why you're not freaked out about how, you know, Game of Thrones relates into our actual life. Like, foreshadowment. Oh. Oh, you're talking about the chest thing now. No, no, I'm talking about Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. Especially Saved by the Bell. Episode 9. Season 2, Episode 9. Season 3. Braun was Saved by the Bell. Season 3, Episode 9. Anna was Saved by the Bell. Our life is getting <laughs> foreshadowed by Game of Thrones. I think this should be scary. I don't understand why he isn't scared. I'm like... <laughs> This is, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> Foreshadowment. Twice. Mm. At least twice. Matthew, first of his name. Roll credit. King of the Anvils and the First Men. Kind of And Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Long may he reign. Long may he I 
after all that's happened. Sounds strange, I know, but I am. Um, I haven't even given any thought to it. What comes next? It would be a great honor, of course. But I will have to speak to my father about it. Yes. To speak to your father. I'll speak to mine. We may be faced with an alarming number of weddings soon. <laughs> I won't even know what to call you. Sister. Or mother. <laughs> it appears my liberation of Save Bay isn't going quite as planned. You could sail for Westwood. And leave it all behind. A boy sits on the arm from a boy many believe to be a bastard with no right to They'll never be more vulnerable. You cancelled me against rashness once in Carth. I didn't listen. It all worked out well. How can I rule seven kingdoms if I can't control Slaver's Bay? Why should anyone trust me? Why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. I need to be more than that. I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. I will not sail for Westeros. What well, then? I will do what queens do. I will rule. My flesh and blood. It's wonderful to meet you, Aunt Lysia. You mustn't call me that in front of anyone else. Oh, of course I understand. No one can know you're here. Put us in a very precarious position. What wife would do for you the things I've done for you? What wife would trust you the way I've trusted you? You gave me those drops and told me to pour them into John's wine, my husband's wine. And you told me to write a letter to Kat, telling her it was a lamb's <sighs> Your eyebrows just came up. Mm hmm. Because little finger told her to. Yeah. So, who started this entire story? Liza. Peter. Yeah, yeah, she's not the brains of the bunch. Shortly. A fortnight. Fortnight's just like night. night, right? As if back in the day, I'm actually not sure what a fortnight is. If that's like a week. Or a full moon. Can we trust? Yeah, I'm not sure what a fortnight is. Or a full moon. Tomorrow? It's just like. Yeah. Answer me in the comments. What's a fortnight? Our only true right. Pounds, tongues, ounces. Doesn't matter. The answer's the same. Copy. Our last working line ran dry three years ago. The pain. The mountain. Would you shut up? I can't sleep until I say the names. The names of every fucking person in Westeros. Only the ones I'm going to kill. <laughs> it's as good a thing as any to keep a person going. Better than most. We come across my brother. Maybe we can both cross the name off a list. If you were here right now, what would you do? I'm telling to shut the fuck up so I can get some sleep. Go on, get it over with. The list of doomed men. Doomed woman. I'm on my 
almost done. Only one name left. Go on. The Hound. You can't grow them up here. Don't go slow. Peter, three crates brought all the way from King's Landing. I knew you liked them, Cakes. He's so kind. He really cares for you. Think that you'd be without him? In their clutches and trial for murder? Yes. I'm, I'm very lucky. He feels responsible for you. Oh, I know he does. I'm so grateful. Why? Why does he feel responsible for you? I'm half Tully. He loved your family so loved much. Loved your mother? No. That's what you wanted to say. He loves you, Aunt Lassie. He's married oh, to you. I never loved him. Never. Cat always went straight for the sweetest thing. The most obvious thing. His Uncle Brandon. A handsome, arrogant, cruel Uncle Brandon. He almost killed Peter in a duel. And your mother loved him anyway. And now, Peter is risking his life to save you. The daughter of a woman who didn't love him. No more than those whores in his brothels. Has he told you about them? No. He hasn't told you about the vile things they do with their bodies, the vile things they let him do with their bodies. No, never. You're pregnant. What? No, I told you. Lord Tyrion and I I'm never... I'm asking about Tyrion. What have you let Peter do with your body? I'm not saying no. I... With your young, pretty body. Nothing. I'm a virgin. Don't lie to me. You're hurting me. I'll know if you lie. I'm a virgin, I swear it. He loves you, aren't I, sir? All he says is that I'm a stupid, I'm a stupid little girl with stupid dreams who never learns, and I'm a terrible liar, so I should always tell the truth, I swear to you, that he's never touched me, not once, not ever. It's all right. It will all be all right. You'll be a widow soon. You'll execute that dwarf for murdering the king, and you'll be free to marry Robin. You'll be the Lady of the Vale. Hmm? Why is she always getting married off? Uh, I know it. Suitor number three. Yep. <laughs> Big fuck. 